increased by about 2,000. Do you think the final budget needs to better reflect Well, I think that's a job for the legislature. <coughs> what they are facing is reducing tax revenues and increasing demands on services. And they'll have to deal with that in the same way the speaker and I will have to deal with an identical situation in New York. As you know, we asked all agencies to cut 2.5% uh, the second half of this fiscal year. We asked all agencies to identify cuts for the next fiscal year of 5%, and they've come back with close to 5%, and they certainly made the 2.5% actually did a touch better. And then uh, I sent them another letter saying there's going to be another 3% peg on top of that. I think we only hope that that's enough. If there's, nobody can tell what's going to happen to tax revenues, but there's no reason to believe they're going up. Quite the contrary, our projections are that they will be substantially lower than they were before. And then you saw the city council tightening their belt, which I think the speaker uh, deserves some credit for leading. Uh, but we're going to have to in all agencies. And you know, some people don't want education to take cuts. They don't want police to take cuts. They don't want cultures to take cuts. The fairest thing here is that everybody's going to take cuts, and they're going to take cuts across every program 